The world of LinkedIn has been keeping very busy throughout the year 2023 with lots happening as per normal. We have had some new features being released. We've had some less popular features be deleted. Um, there's been some small tweaks happening here and there. And as always, there's been some changes to the way the algorithm works. So in this video, I am going to run you through all of that. And it's coming up right now. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile. So we're going to start with some of the new features that have been rolled out over the last period of time. And the first one is real simple. When we're starting to create a post and we would just start typing away here on LinkedIn. If we weren't ready to actually do the post, we can now actually schedule it by clicking the, the clock feature down the bottom there. So, so simple, but I don't know why they haven't had it for years and years and years, but I'm actually really thrilled that we can now schedule posts uh, when we're being active on LinkedIn. And the second feature I want to highlight that's had some changes to it is when we write an article. So when we click on writing an article, this is LinkedIn's in-house blog platform, allows us to write, you know, long form blog posts. The interface has been updated, so it's just got a more smoother look and doing editing on it is a lot easier as well. So I'm very pleased with this one. And another feature that they've made some improvements on is on the notification. So if I click on notifications, I'm now able to filter between all notifications on my posts that I've created and mentions as well. So something simple, but just allows us to filter um, notifications when we um, see them coming through on a daily basis. Now, the next feature I want to explain to you all is actually called the featured section here that we can all activate it on our LinkedIn profile. And you can see once you activate it, it's, it's um, you know, close to the top of your profile and it very much stands out. So now, while this is not brand new, so few people take advantage of it. And you really should be because, you know, when someone's scrolling through your profile, there's the opportunity to add, you know, multimedia. You can see I've added all links to my YouTube videos and it really pops. It will stop the scroll. So activate the featured section so you can stand out even further from the crowd here on LinkedIn. Now, another new feature that's being rolled out, it's currently in beta testing. So it's not available for everyone at the moment. I don't have it. But when we start creating a post, it's simple as we all know how to do it. And you get the option down here to add, you know, multimedia videos, that type of thing. But when you start posting here, there's going to be a pop-up that will appear and the um, AI generated tool is going to start help you crafting your post. As I say, it's only in beta stage at the moment. I don't have it yet, but look out for that. Take advantage of it because it just makes, you know, posting and, and creating content here on LinkedIn so much easier. And don't forget, as I said, use the scheduling tool, that type of thing to then schedule your post for later on. And the final relatively new feature that I want to highlight to everyone is L LinkedIn will now auto generate captions for your video so here's a video that i uploaded directly to linkedin just the other day the auto um, the captions have been um, automatically added by linkedin um, so many people these days watching video content um, with the sound muted and and one of the best practices is now to make sure that we're adding captions uh, whether it be on a native post like this or on a, um, a you know a short for video like this a reel or a story or a shorts from my youtube channel that type of thing so they were some of the new features so what about some of the features that linkedin have deleted over the last 12 months or so first one is hover video so you can see i'm circling with my man House pro image. Many people are very familiar with that as universal across social media platforms. For a while, LinkedIn allowed you to put a short video clip here. And I actually had done a few videos on my YouTube channel explaining how that feature works. But it wasn't overly popular, so they have deleted that. So we have gone back to now just having our normal profile image. Now, another feature that they've deleted is all around carousel posts. So this was a single image post that I did a few weeks ago. 
previously LinkedIn had the feature where you could add multiple photos and you would scroll to the left and and they would you know roll across like a carousel so they're very popular on Facebook and and Instagram and things like that so that is being deleted now which um which is a bit of a shame because it was enabling enabling us to add more than one image but we're now back to just adding the single image if we just want to do an image post and another feature that was deleted over a year or so ago, LinkedIn allowed us to create stories just like we can do on um, Facebook and Instagram. But unfortunately, that one disappeared a few years ago and I did another video on that on my YouTube channel as well. So that's a bit of a shame. And the final one that they deleted was image links when posting. So a few things have been deleted, but there has been some big changes in regard to how LinkedIn algorithm is now working. On all of the social media platforms, the algorithm's always very fluid. It is always uh, evolving and changing. Um, and LinkedIn have had some interesting updates this year as well. And I found this very interesting blog article on the topic from Hootsuite. So if you're wanting to read the full article, you can check that out on their website. But in regard to the recent algorithm changes and, and what's been happening, LinkedIn's ultimate goal is to prioritise relevant high quality content and promote engagement. Now, that's been a given for many, many years now. But they've also gone on to say LinkedIn is not a platform where you should expect your content to go viral. So that's interesting, isn't it? It's not about it's not designed for virality, it's about sharing knowledge and updates with the people who care about your information. So it's a totally different approach here on LinkedIn. They're basically saying less is more. They want deeper connections with a smaller number of people, which is contrary to pretty much all of the other social media platforms and everyone's always going on, did it go viral? How many views, how many likes, how many comments? And this article also explains, you know, when you do post on LinkedIn, um, you know, they test your post with a small audience initially to see, um, you know, the engagement, that type of thing. So that's why you're always looking to create, you know, relevant, engaging, interesting, entertaining content. But this is interesting. Recent changes in your LinkedIn algorithm are specifically designed to ensure your first degree connection, see more of your content, which sort of makes sense, I suppose. People that you, you know, know in person, they become a first degree connection. And they're basically saying these type of people or these connections are going to start seeing more of your content. And there's some further information here explaining this is where the LinkedIn algorithm analyzes how relevant any piece of content is to a specific LinkedIn user. And if it's popular, they start sharing it out to a wider audience as well. And they go on to say LinkedIn announced significant algorithm changes in June 2023. The changes were based on feedback and are intended to accomplish two goals, surfacing more content that shares knowledge or advice, strengthening connections among people who already know each other. So there's quite some good information in this blog article from Hootsuite on the changes and updated and updates to the algorithm as well. So there we go, some updates on LinkedIn, what's been happening throughout 2023. Don't forget to connect with me here on LinkedIn to stay up to date with all of my social media for business content. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all of my weekly videos. And no matter which of the social media platforms you might be viewing this on, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, leave me a comment, let me know where you're tuning in from around the world.